17 year old female assassin named Jakaira, who created a social media account dedicated to avenging his death. She was known to her rivals as somebody who was willing to, to shoot first, to ask questions later. It's all over the internet. Jakaira was on social media bragging about the shootings that she had done. She was proud and she let everybody know. She was very quick to let you know that she was violent and that she was not afraid to shoot somebody. It was said Jakaira was responsible for at least 15 shootings before she herself was eventually killed. Afterwards, a 4chan user hacked her Twitter and leaked DMs showing her and King Von had this weird back and forth where King Von was attempting to romance her in like a mocking way, I don't know, maybe it was real, despite the fact that they were both rival gang members. And she didn't like dudes, she liked girls. But reading the tweets and listening to his interviews, you could tell King Von is a clever, smooth talker, right? He's smooth, but he's also a goddamn demon. A blood trail seems to follow him wherever he goes, and King Von was becoming an infant his figure in the Chicago PD briefing room, so they hated him. Police would bring him in for an armed robbery charge, possession of an illegal firearm, and they had suspicions of other stuff that they could never prove. One murder of a kid named Modell, allegedly, according to the internet detectives on Reddit, has King Von's name written all over it. It happened on a Saturday night where 24 other people were wounded across Chicago, but that wouldn't stop King Von from boasting about Modell's death on Twitter all the time. Now finally, in 2014, the police thought they had something. Vaughn and one of his friends were at a crowded house party when a rival GD named Malcolm Stuckey was in the corner, mean mugging them. Vaughn and them took offense, immediately left the party, came back 45 minutes later, shooting at the kid Stuckey who was outside along with two other people who tried to run. Stuckey was killed, the two others were wounded, and King Vaughn and his friend were snatched up by police a couple days later. After three and a half years, the trial finally started. It lasted a grand total of five days. Witnesses couldn't be located. Vaughn kept his mouth shut for the whole three years while his friend confessed to doing the shooting. So Vaughn beat the case, went home, and his friend got 28 years. As soon as Vaughn was out, the dude he was always arguing with on Twitter named Wooski, who's a gangster disciple, and his mortal enemy, was attending a funeral at the Bethlehem Star Baptist Church when all of a sudden an AK-47 pistol, aka a Draco, was whipped out and started spraying into the crowd. Dozens of shots rang off and Wooski was shot. Now he survived and King Vaughn was not responsible for this, but that does not stop him from mocking him. Every his fans are diehards, right? They're crazy. They read into everything he posts, looking for clues. Like this man posted an Insta story just trying to promote his new music video. And people were reading into how many skulls he put in his caption, like seven skulls, that's seven bodies. 